Hello everyone, I'm Ren the Sikkin Demon. <laughs> I'm Ren the Isikin Demon, and welcome back to another episode of Flower. <laughs> Kawaii. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki. Ah, <sighs> oh, jeez. I'm just, I'm trying to get through this. At this point, uh, I'm scared. Uh, you know. Oh, wonderful. Treasure. Hair. Summer. Puppy. Uh. Uh. uh oh, jeez. Bliss. Heart. Vibrant. Days. Uh, Dazzly. Uh. Excuse me. Another day passes. It's time for a club meeting already. I've got a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the clubhouse, or club room. I want to say clubhouse for some reason. This <clears throat> thing greets me. Welcome back, Rensama. Oh, hi, Yuri. Uh, I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Nasuki is reading a manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. <gasps> Monica isn't here? Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Anything uh, like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting uh, mentally sound. Please, don't, don't think we're uh, usually like this. It's just me, but Nasuki as well. Yuri... I'm happy that you were, you know, con considerate to and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Uh, even though I've only been here a couple of days now, I could, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was her first time sharing poems. But wh whatever it was, yeah, it was, it was definitely the poems. Uh, it, it didn't make me think any less of you. So you already decided, you know, a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, and then don't don't say those kinds of things. So frankly, uh, they they make me a little too happy. Uh, I'm really glad, glad that you're such a outstanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit bitter with uh, you around, brighter with you around, and, uh, sorry what I am, what am I saying right now? I just, hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh... It, no, no, I haven't. I wonder where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Uh, Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Asuki is addressing her. No, I, I haven't. Uh, geez, this isn't like her at all. I know that... And I know it's stupid... But I can't help but worry about it. Worry a little bit. Uh, what? Where, where'd you looking at me that? Blah. Why did you, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, Suki, oh. My computer's actually wigging out now. Ah. Uh, Nasuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? 
Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Oh, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but, but, oh, what the apps, oh, my fuck, uh, my, 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 my bulls, uh, I'll accept your apology anyway, if, if it helps you feel better about it, uh, besides, it's kind of nice to hear, <laughs> I was afraid you strictly hated me or something like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 not not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Oh, jeez, Nasuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried. Nah, nah, nah. You got a new boyfriend, right? I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, last period, I was in study hall, to be honest. I lost track of time. Uh-huh. That makes no sense. You would have heard the bell at least, right? Yeah, I was practicing piano, so she was doing what she always do by practicing piano and haha <laughs> well, thanks Yuri. Oh jeez. Play something for us sometimes. Yeah, that's uh well I'm I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I'm done sounds cool I look forward to it in that case uh, Monica smiles sweetly uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that uh, don't worry I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway oh geez I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently I see uh, training a whole club or just me? Yeah, it seems like she was just referring to us, bro. Uh, in that case, best of luck. <laughs> Thanks. So, I didn't mess, miss anything, did I? N not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything the three of us talked about. Besides, Nusuki was already run off into the closet. Uh, Rin-sama, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today I mean in the club oh yeah girl we go to the club mm. Mm. I ain't got no friends uh, I suppose so uh, I don't think I could say no to you after you gave the book to me well I guess I need to t make sure Nasuki isn't waiting for me after we finished reading yesterday she She's fine. Uh, she's reading over there, see? Uh, don't think about her too much. She's used to being ignored. What the fuck? Come on, we're going over there. Yo, what the fuck? What's the story about anyway? Well, um, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Of Mav... Of Mav... Mark... Marvuk? Uh, I don't know what that is. And there's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about a ridiculous... Or a rigorous camp that was turned into a human experiment person 
and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood but the factually gets even worse and they start sick bleeding people oh my god by cutting off their limbs and officially them to uh oh uh that might be a little bit of a spoiler it sounds similar to what this game's doing to me I feel like that's what's going on here <sighs> water but anyway I'm really into it the book I mean uh, not 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 the thing about the the limbs that's kind of uh, it's kind of dark isn't it uh, Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story but th so that dark turn came from nowhere uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing Rinsama? Uh, no, it's it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories. So, d don't worry. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. Uh, she's so shy it, outside, you know. Uh, it's just that kind of story. And the kind of challenges you look at life... From a strange new perspective <laughs> when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil but because the world is full of horrible people but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway then suddenly uh, I'm I'm really rambling aren't I what the actual fuck uh, not again I'm I'm sorry Hey, don't apologize. I have hit, I've lost interest or anything. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. Just I feel like I should let you know what I have. I that I have this problem when I let let things like books or writings oh fill my thoughts. My whole body gets oh. Whoa, uh, I kind of for <laughs> forgot. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start uh, talking too much. That's uh, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're. Uh, passionate about reading you know at least I can do is listen uh, it's a literature club after all uh, that's well that's true uh, in fact uh, I might as well get started reading it right I'm okay I'm okay that was nothing that was nothing you think you can scare me video game I don't think so it's not even possible uh, y yes, I mean, uh, you, you don't have to, but <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive that's I'm sorry it's not that I don't want to it's just something I'm not very used to that's that is reading in uh, company with someone uh, I see well just tell me if I end up uh, or or you or anything all right I open the book and start to the prologue I soon understand what Yuri means about reading and company it's as if 
I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is a in the in the corner of my eye. I realize that oh, she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, uh, so, so, sorry. Uh, uh, Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? <laughs> uh, I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, uh, 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 here's, here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each learn and lean in a little bit or our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way so I instead I use my oh Oh, 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 right hand. Oh, to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yuri, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumbs and forefinger. <laughs> ah, I don't... I do the same with uh, my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're holding, uh, huddling, huddled even closer together than before. I, it's actually kind of uh, distracting me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, boy. <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. And she's in the corner of my vision. And, are you ready? Oh, jeez. Uh, she turned the page. Oh, so sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for, uh, for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again. And her eye, our eyes meet. Uh oh, I don't know how I f how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. Uh, you're you're not used to reading, right? Not really. Uh, I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Uh, y yeah. Thanks. Uh, we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Uh, instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own evaluation. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange oh my <laughs> my thumb gen gently letting go of the page letting it f uh, fluffer fluter flutter over to her side as she catches it <laughs> under her own thumb hey yuri uh this might be silly though but uh the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit <laughs> uh, why is she sweating? That's if this game is teaching me anything, it's that I can't trust it, and that cannot be a good sign. Uh, no, 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 I don't relate to this character uh, at all. Uh, 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 definitely not. Really? Uh, I was just thinking that the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I thought you meant something else about her. 
uh, something else? Uh, n never mind. Uh, we we didn't even get to the uh, far yet. That far yet. Um, so I don't know why that came into my head. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, hi, Yuri, are you feeling all right? Uh, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. Uh, you can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Uh, your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri pulls her hands on her chest as if feeling uh, her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I just need some water. All right, uh, don't, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and uh, practically rushes out the classroom. Okay. What on earth was that about? Rinsama! <gasps> did, did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. Uh, so... Oh, oh, oh. You don't know anything. Uh, sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Uh, no, no, not really. Uh, I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. Uh-huh. Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Uh, Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, uh, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Uh, she might as well. She might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, for answering. Okay. This is... This is getting more and more fucked up, isn't it? I'm gonna die, aren't I? I can feel it. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna end the episode there. Um, and then we'll continue next time. Uh... Hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.